Dialysis Nursery Rooms here. I'm a dialysis nurser in the Philippines and welcome back to my channel where I upload videos all about dialysis, and my journey in discovering nursing career. Finally, we've just finished our dialysis access series that contains four episodes, so please check it out. It's labeled as Hemodialysis 101 in my home YouTube channel. So now, what we're going to talk about will be just some tips when performing a heparin-free dialysis procedure using Fresenius machine. As you know it, I transitioned from a Vibron machine to Fresenius and if you can just imagine how frustrating it really is. I'm not telling you because it's difficult, but there are features from the Vibron machine that you'd wish Fresenius should also be equipped with. Things like screen warnings that tells you what to do next and alarms that reminds you the following tasks that you need to do now. I'm pertaining to the timer or stopwatch feature of Bbron machine. Bbron has this cool feature that allows you to set the timer and an alarm for flushing. So you initiate the flushing manually by opening the clamp. However, the machine itself flushes the exact amount you set in the machine. In short, it alarms every 15 minutes and flushes the exact 50 ml. Let me show you. The timer interval setting is where you input the cycle in minutes. So here it's 15 minutes. The sound icon is highlighted, meaning the sound alarm is already activated. Next will be the arterial bolus icon where you input the bolus volume in the indicated icon. Once everything is set, this is how you do flushing in Bbron machine. Now we are giving an arterial bolus. Click the parameter icon. Then arterial bolus icon. Then click the bolus icon. A window appears. Confirm. Then open infusion saline clamp. Once done, a window appears stating end of arterial bolus. Close the infusion saline clamp. Click confirm button. Click timer or stopwatch, then select cycle and sound to alarm according to the set interval time. So it's every 15 minutes. Selecting the to do icon gives you the option to type any message to appear every time it alarms. In Fresenius, however, it doesn't have the same feature so you will not be able to set the bolus volume and alarm in cycle. So we do everything manually. I don't know how you do it, but I have a feeling that it's not accurate enough. Don't worry because that is what I am going to teach you. We are going to learn how to flush the exact volume in Fresenius machine. Let's involve math and do some calculations. In a typical dialysis machine, the blood pump is set to a constant speed to push blood through the dialyzer and back to the body. This is measured through the blood flow rate and this is what we are going to use in our formula to be able to flush the exact bolus volume. Initially, blood flow starts at 150 ml per minute. This means in one full minute, a total of 150 ml of blood is being recirculated. On the other hand, in one full second, a total of 2.5 ml is being recirculated. Now to flushing, we are just going to flush a bolus saline of 50 ml. So with the given values mentioned, of blood flow rate that is 2.5 ml per second and a bolus saline of 50 ml, we need to come up how many seconds we need in order to flush the ordered saline bolus. The formula will be 50 ml multiplied by 1 second over 2.5 ml. We need to interchange the order of the BFR to cancel the ml and come up with S. This means in 20 seconds, a total bolus saline of 50 ml will be flushed. This is the shorter version of the formula. The longer one is, we just have to write the 1 minute into 60 seconds. So it's going to be 50 ml times 60 seconds over 150 ml. 
you are going to divide this, you'll come up with 3,000 over 150. That equals to the same 20 seconds. Now try it yourself. In different blood flow rates of 200 ml per minute and 250 ml per minute. How many seconds do you need? I'll give you 20 seconds. Let's check your answers. This is then how I do it. Blood flow here is 150 ml per minute, so it will take us 20 seconds to flush the exact volume of 50 ml bolus. Open the clamp and start timer. This is why I love my Casio Vintage watch because it functions as a calculator and a stopwatch as well. I usually wait on the 21st second to fully finish the whole 20 seconds, then I close the clamp. Now that we have come up on how to flush the exact volume, let's get this machine alarm every 15 minutes. How I do it? Let's use the automatic blood pressure. Set it for 15 minutes and just leave it as is and it will definitely alarm since there will be no blood pressure taken. something from this video if yes don't forget to click like leave a comment for some video suggestion and of course subscribe to my channel next up will be blood transfusion in a dialysis machine so stay tuned as i take you with me in discovering nursing career thanks for watching bye, -bye.